Hey everyone and welcome back. In today's video, we will be discussing about AWS CloudTrail. Now, CloudTrail is one of the very important services in AWS as far as the auditing is concerned. And enabling this and using this effectively is one of the key principles uh, in security as far as the AWS is concerned. So let's go ahead and understand more about CloudTrail. Now, uh, basically, uh, whenever you are using uh, some kind of a account, it can be a Linux server, it can be a cloud hosting provider. In all of them, there must be a need to record all the activities that are happening within the infrastructure as well as within your server. So tomorrow, uh, if I want to see what user Alice did one week back in a specific server, I should be able to find the exact commands uh, that have been executed and same applies for the AWS as well. If I want to see what each user is doing and what each user have been doing uh, in the past few months, I should be able to do that. Now, in order to do that, AWS provides us with a feature of CloudTrail, which allows us to record each and every activity of a AWS account. So let's uh, take an example of a typical auditor question. So if your organization is going through a compliance audit, this is one of the typical auditor questions that you might be asked for. Where you have shown me what Annie did on 3rd of January 2017 between 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. So uh, this is quite an interesting question because this type of questions will be asked and you will have to show within the logs on what exactly Annie did uh, between 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. So this is quite important. Now, this question can apply both to AWS and the servers. So currently, since we're discussing for AWS, we'll be primarily focusing on how we can enable this kind of a, a logging activity with AWS. So if you'll see within this chart, this is what CloudTrail might look like. So you have a user, James, uh, the action that he has done is logged in and the time is 3.50 p.m. Now Annie uh, action she has done is modified security group at 7.30 p.m. And you have Suzanne, she created a new EC2 instance at 11 p.m. So uh, this kind of data can be monitored with the help of CloudTrail. So what we'll do, let's go and go to CloudTrail and look into how exactly these events might look like. So I'm in my CloudTrail console. So if you look into the recent events, uh, most of the events that you will see over here are uh, related to uh, console login. So if I click over here, it basically gives you a lot of information. I'll click on view event and within view event, it gives me a lot of information. So first information is the ARN of the user who has logged in. So this is the ARN of my root user. Then it gives the event source, which is signin.amazonaws.com. Uh, it gives the region. It also gives the source IP address from which IP address someone has logged into the AWS account. This is very important. So if you're, let's assume that all of your users are based on India and uh, suddenly you are getting a source IP address of someone logged in from Russia. That is a, like a red alert. So you have to be very careful related to this specific activity. It will give you the user agent from which user agent the user has logged in and other uh, information. So this is what a CloudTrail event looks like. Now, this is just an event of console login. CloudTrail captures various kind of events. Like if you modify security group, you create, you terminate certain resources, all of these guests log in with CloudTrail. So uh, with this said, let's go ahead and uh, create a first cloud trail. So I'll go to the trails tab and currently I don't really have any trail. So I'll click on create trail. So uh, the trail name that I will give is pack hyphen trail. Now uh, you can basically apply uh, it for all the regions or you can uh, apply it to a specific region. So for our case, I'll click on apply trail to all regions. I'll select it to yes. Within management events, you have the capability if you want to log all the read write events, read only events, write only or none. So this is dependent on you. I'll select all. Now this data events are uh, quite new. 
this was not directly applicable earlier so basically it allows for there are two tabs one is s3 and second is lambda so for s3 it allows you to record the api calls for example get object and put object so you can record uh, various api calls which are been made to the s3 bucket so let's uh, select it as yes for the time being now storage location so cloudtrail will basically store all the logs in s3 bucket so that you can pull it and push it to your log monitoring solution cloudtrail will also show you the logs within the console as well so that is something that you can look forward for so uh, the name i'll say as packed hyphen tray i'll go to the advanced this is the log prefix that you might want to i do not will just ignore it right now and uh, you have option to encrypt file you have option for log file validation so if someone modifies the log file you should be alerted so this is the log file validation and you have option to send a sns notification uh, like email or a sms message uh, on delivery of a log file so we'll uh, leave these uh, to be a default value and we'll go ahead and click on create trail perfect so uh, this trail is created so from now on whatever activity that you do will be recorded within the trail that you have created so let's do one thing let's create certain activity and look into whether cloud trail will be able to detect those kind of activity so the first thing that we'll do let's click on elastic ips i'll go ahead and allocate a new ip address so this is the first activity that i have done i'll also create a new key pair i'll name it as test key pair and the third thing that we will do is we'll create a new user i'll name the user as trail user i'll give him the management console access and i'll go ahead and create this specific user perfect so uh, we have done certain activity now one important uh, part that you should remember is that the log events that comes to the cloud trail they are not immediate like uh, if you created or if you terminated an instance a minute back it will not reflect in cloud trail instantly it takes certain amount of time typically it takes around 15 minutes for the events to appear within the cloud trail console so this is one important part that you need to remember so uh, this is it about today's video